I went to a pretty big college. It was several hours from the city where I'm from, and a few of my high school classmates also went there. This is something that happened during my junior year. I lived in a house with three of my friends, two of which went to high school with me as well. It was a two-story house that we lived in and somewhat small, but enough space for all of us. When the school year started, I had a lot of students in most of my classes because of how big our school was. One class in particular had about 200 kids in it. I would go to the lectures each time on Mondays and Wednesdays when they were held, and I would usually sit in the same spot. It was a large room with many seats in it. Over time, I would see a lot of the same faces in class, but I didn't really have any good friends in this particular class. One of the people who would always seem to sit around me was this one guy. He would usually sit a few rows behind me, and he was sort of tall and had dark brown hair. I never really paid much attention to him, but I just recognized him. But I began noticing him more when he started to seemingly be following me home. It started one day after class, when I walked out of the building and just happened to notice him walking behind me. I would drive to class and back because I lived off campus, so I would go to a parking lot, get in my car, and then leave. He happened to park near me, so he did the same. As far as I knew, this was just a coincidence. I would never pay attention to who was driving behind me. But there was this one time that I didn't go straight home, but went to the school cafeteria instead. I noticed this guy walked behind me the whole time and he also went to the cafeteria. I still didn't think much of it and thought it was maybe a coincidence. After I got inside and got food, I'm not really sure which way he went because I was just minding my own business. But the very next day of class that we had, I left to go straight home and went to my car. For whatever reason, I noticed the guy again as he went to his car, which was parked a little ways from mine. But this time, I noticed him driving behind me all the way until I got to my place. When I parked on the side of the street in front of our house, he kept driving past me. One of the next times that we had class, he followed me in his car again, but I wasn't driving back to my place this time. This time, I went to a gas station to get gas, and he just happened to do the same thing. Something about this seemed really weird. Was it a coincidence, or was he always following me? I decided to ask around the class the next time that we had it. There were a few people who I usually sat by. They weren't necessarily friends, but I would occasionally talk to them about things from the class. I pointed out the guy to them and asked if they knew anything about him. None of them did though. I brought the guy up to my roommates as well, but they didn't seem to have any idea who the guy was. It was a mystery to me. But then, the guy just stopped showing up to class. I remember he wasn't there for like four or five times in a row. I wondered why, but I was actually glad that he wasn't in class anymore because he was seeming to be following me. Then, one night, I was returning home from my on-campus part-time job that I had. It was dark out, and when I got to my street, I saw a man walking down the sidewalk in front of our house. As I got closer, I noticed it was the same guy. I did not want to park my car in the street close to him, or have to see him at all, so I kept driving and passed by our house. I couldn't believe that I saw him. I was telling myself that he must have lived close to me in this general neighborhood. After I left our street, I drove around the block to get back to our street again. It took me maybe a minute or so, and I was expecting the guy to be gone when I got back. But when I pulled around again, he was still there. He was just kind of standing around, or pacing almost. The area that he was in was right by where I parked my car every day. I had a really bad feeling, and I didn't want to take any chances, so I kept driving and decided not to go home. Instead, I headed back towards campus and called one of my roommates. I told her about the guy in front of our house, and she went to check out the front window and told me that she saw him. She did not know who he was, and told me she would let me know if he went away. I got a call about 20 minutes later that he had finally left the area. Then, once more, I drove back home. After getting back, I looked around the street and was quick to get inside the house. I didn't see the guy at all. Not too long after that, I went upstairs to go to bed. I fell asleep pretty quickly, but one of my roommates soon woke me up. She told me that the guy was back and that she had already called the police. I was really confused at first and didn't know what was going on, but she led me into her bedroom which had a window that looked out to the back of our house. In the backyard, we looked down and saw the guy was standing at the back door seemingly trying to open it. She said he had been there for a while. It was almost one o'clock in the morning at that time. We waited upstairs and hoped that the guy wouldn't get in. And luckily, he didn't. When we heard the sound of a car driving down the street, 
It stopped by our house, and then we saw the man try to run away. However, he ended up being stopped by the police, not too far from our house. I remember I heard that he claimed he was trying to get to his friend's house, and he mixed up the address. We all knew that was a lie. It turned out the guy didn't even go to our school and was never enrolled there. All those times he was in class with me, who knows what his real intentions were. This is something that happened during my freshman year of college. It was a few years ago now, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. At the time, I went to a university with about 10,000 students. For my first year, I lived in an all-female dorm building on the third floor. There were four floors total, and I had my own dorm room all to myself. On probably the third or fourth week of school, I went to bed one night just like any other. It was a weeknight, but I don't remember exactly what day. I woke up, though, at around 3 o'clock in the morning and really had to use the bathroom. The bathrooms were just a ways down the hallway, so I got out of bed and headed to the door. When I got out into the hallway, it was empty and things were very quiet. I had to walk maybe between 50 and 100 feet to get to the bathrooms. Once I was there, the bathrooms that we had was basically a room with five doors and a sink. Each door was its own little private bathroom. Nobody was inside and all of the doors were open when I got there. Not surprising for it being 3 o'clock in the morning. As I was inside one of the rooms, I heard footsteps come from the hallway. Whoever it was then entered the bathrooms and went into one of the rooms across from me. I didn't think too much of it. I was inside for maybe a minute and then left. When I did, the other person was still inside the one across from me. Basically, right when I got back into the hallway, I heard the other bathroom door open. Then, when I was maybe 30 feet away from the bathrooms walking to my room, I heard them start walking in the hallway behind me. I still didn't think much of it at the time, and I expected it to be another girl. But something about it just seemed odd, I don't really know why. I looked over my shoulder to see who it was, but when I did, I saw that it was a man. And it wasn't a college-aged man either. This guy looked much older than me. I was really confused by this. I turned back and kept walking from my room. But instantly, I heard the man speed up his steps. He was walking pretty fast and starting to gain on me. I got a really bad feeling and I sped up as well. By now, I was pretty close to my door and I hadn't locked it with me only going to the bathroom. That was good, meaning I could get inside faster. I could hear the man still getting closer and closer to me and I started to feel panic setting into my mind. Now, I was only about 10 feet away and the guy was less than 20 feet behind me. When I got to the door, I quickly opened it, got inside, and then shut the door and locked it behind me. Probably a second later, the guy stopped right outside my door. He then tried opening the door, and my heart started racing even faster than it already was. Then he knocked on it. I had no clue who this guy was or what he wanted. I knew that he wasn't supposed to be here, though. I chose not to answer the door. I also didn't bother to ask him what he was doing or who he was. There was about 30 seconds of silence after he knocked. I was hoping that he would have gone away, but then he knocked on the door again. It wasn't a very loud knock at all, and after he knocked, I walked over to the door and looked through the peephole. He was sort of short and wearing a black jacket and had sort of blonde hair. I didn't know who he was. He definitely didn't work at the school or anything either. He knocked again for a third time. I really wanted him to just go away. There was no way that I was going to be able to get any sleep with this guy here. He didn't say anything the entire time, but was just standing there. I went away from the door and sat on my bed. I waited, and the guy didn't knock for a really long time. But when I went back over to the door and looked out, thinking maybe he was gone, the guy was still there. I didn't know what to do. I walked back over to my bed. Then the guy knocked one more time was really quiet and I just barely heard it because of how quiet it was. I didn't get up to look. I stayed where I was and probably 10 more minutes went by. I didn't hear any noises and got up to look again. That's when I saw that the guy was finally gone. After that, I was finally able to get back to sleep. The next morning, I found my resident advisor and told her about the man. She said that she was going to report it. Luckily, I never saw the guy again after that. A few days later though, I found out that the man had been let into the building much earlier that night. He had told a student that his daughter lived there and he had to give her something. The student let him in, believing his story. It turned out that it was a complete lie 
and he must have hid somewhere for hours. I get really creeped out thinking about it. Campus security was informed of the situation, but I never heard anything more of him. In fall of 2019, I was a freshman in college. I went to a smaller school and I lived in the dorms. I had a roommate named Danny who was a real jerk, but that's not the horror story. Sure, it was annoying to be in that small dorm room with Danny. He would talk a lot and pester me on purpose a lot of times. Because of this, I tried to spend as much time away from our dorm room as possible. I would do all my studying in different places around campus. Spots to sit and get work done were everywhere in just about every building. Even if I wasn't doing homework, I could sit and watch YouTube videos or whatever. I preferred it to being in my dorm room if Danny was there. I got into a routine of this after probably the first month. So one night, I remember that I was doing homework in this one building. It was the building that a lot of our classrooms were in and had several different subjects. There were about four floors to it, and I was up on the third or fourth floor, but I don't remember which one. I was in a comfortable chair that had a table attached to it. It was built for studying and stuff. There were a few of these types of chairs that looked out a window that had a nice view of campus. I took a break at about 6 p.m. and went to the dining hall to eat. I met up with a friend there and then afterwards went back to the same building at the same spot that I was at before to finish my homework. The buildings didn't close if you were a student and you could stay there as long as you wanted. By now, especially up on one of the top floors, things were very quiet and nobody else was really around. I kept working and was there until probably like 9 p.m. As I worked, I had my headphones in and played some music in the background. Sometimes I would do that and sometimes I wouldn't. It just depended on what I was doing and how I felt. So right after I was done and I took my headphones out, I heard footsteps behind me immediately. The walkway went behind me and one direction led to some classrooms and the other led to some stairs. The footsteps were coming from the hallway with some classrooms in it. I started picking up my laptop and putting things into my backpack. As I did, the footsteps got closer and closer. It didn't seem like the person was going to walk by me though. It almost seemed like they were going to approach me instead. I turned around to look and see who it was. All I saw though was somebody ducking around a corner behind a beam. I didn't get a look at the person but just saw part of them for like a second. This was kind of weird. I finished putting my things in my backpack and then stood up looking to where I saw the person again. I still saw nothing. Then I walked over to the stairs and left the building. I went back to my dorm after that. But the very next day, there was a similar experience. This time, after studying in a different building, I went to the performing arts building to study that night. This building was almost always pretty quiet. There were much less classrooms inside of it. And unless there was a concert or something going on, not many people would be there. I studied in peace for basically the whole time and saw only about two or three people walking by in the entire time that I was in there. For the last two hours probably, I saw nobody at all. The location that I was studying in was on the first floor and next to a staircase where there was a table and chair set up for studying. It was kind of out of the way, but there was a hallway going past and another one that connected. I did not have my headphones in this time and could hear everything around me. Things were very quiet and it soon got to be kind of late. At one point though, I heard footsteps coming from down the hallway. Just when these footsteps were about to get into my view though, they stopped. It was like just around the corner where I couldn't see. There was no room that I was aware of right there either. It was like the person had just stopped in their tracks. If they went back the other way or moved at all, I would have heard them. What were they doing? Were they just standing there? I had no idea. I decided to pack up my stuff and head back to my dorm. When I did, I didn't hear anything. Luckily for me, I did not have to walk past that hallway and I would be going the other way. When I left, as soon as I started heading down the hallway, I heard the footsteps again. This time, they followed me, but were still out of my sight. Then I heard them start to get closer and within my view. I turned around to see who it was that was there. I did it very quickly to not be weird, so I didn't get a good look at the person but I did see them. There was a tall and thin looking guy walking a little ways back behind me. It seemed as though he was walking pretty fast. This was way too weird and as I walked, I passed by an exit door. It wasn't one of the main entrances or exits to the building, but at the last moment, I turned and I left. Once I was out of there, I headed back for the main area of campus. 
The guy didn't leave the building, whoever it was. I wondered if this was the same person who had been there the previous night. I went back to my dorm room, and after that, decided to take a break from studying around campus at night. As much as I didn't like to study in my dorm room with Danny, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But the story doesn't quite end there. A few days later, I had classes like normal and was gone for most of the day. I returned to our dorm in the late afternoon, and Danny was there. When I got into the room, he told me that someone had come by and asked for me. Apparently, somebody knocked on our door, and when Danny answered, a guy asked if I was there. I asked Danny what the guy looked like, and he said tall and thin, and basically described the same guy that I had seen the other night. I asked if the guy said what he wanted with me. He didn't say, though. Apparently, he just walked away. After that, I never saw the man again. This happened just a couple of years ago. I was in college at the time, but went to a smaller school. I have a good friend group from high school, and we remain close to this day, but several of us went to different colleges. A few went to a much bigger school, which was a little bit more fun to hang out at. It was only about an hour away from the college that I went to, so on a few occasions, I went and visited for a weekend. I remember that one time, during I believe my third year of college, I went to visit two of my friends, Jake and Sam, at the larger school. I went down on Friday after classes and hung out with my friends later that day. We were going to go to the university football game the next day on Saturday. But before that, on Friday night, my friends and a few of their college friends were going out to some of the local bars. We left to go there at probably like 10 p.m., and we decided to walk because I was told it would only take about 10 minutes. I was with Jake and Sam to start, but Sam soon left us because he said he had to stop and get something at one of his friend's dorms quick so he would meet us there. Our route to getting there went right through the center of campus. Now, I had been there a couple of times in the past, but this school was very large and I didn't know the campus all that well. At this hour, things were dark and really nobody else was around other than some people on the main sidewalks. We took a shortcut through a courtyard near some buildings, which I assumed had classrooms in them, but I wasn't really sure. I suddenly really had to use the bathroom, and when we passed by a building, I asked Jake if I could use the bathroom in one of the buildings. He was like, sure, go ahead. I didn't really know what the buildings were or if they would be locked, but when I went to the door and tried it, it was open. Jake then got a phone call and he stayed outside. I told him that I would be right back and I entered the building. When I got inside, there were a few hallways and a lounge type of area. I didn't know exactly what type of building it was still. Nobody else seemed to be inside. There was no bathroom in immediate sight, so I started walking around to try and find one. I kept expecting one to be right around the corner or really close by, but there just wasn't one. At last, after probably five minutes of wandering around the building, I found a bathroom. I used it and was back out in less than a minute, but now I didn't really know how to get back. I thought that I knew the way and started going there, but I soon heard footsteps coming. They were walking kind of fast in my direction. I didn't know if I was even supposed to be in here, and I wasn't a student at the school, so I decided to wait out of sight. I went back around the corner, hoping for the footsteps to pass by. Instead of passing me though, they turned the corner and headed to where I was. In a split-second decision, I moved back and went up a staircase, which happened to be right there. After walking up, I was now a floor higher, and everything looked mostly the same on the second floor. But I heard the footsteps starting to walk up the stairs. They were also moving faster than before. Somebody seemed to be after me for some reason. I started to worry that I really wasn't supposed to be in this building and would get in trouble. I walked as fast as I could without running through a random hallway. I was trying to make my way back towards the entrance and find another staircase or something. When I went down a couple more hallways, I heard the person behind me go down each way that I went. They were still a ways back though and couldn't see me. I didn't know who this person was that was chasing me. I kind of thought that it was silly and I considered just stopping and seeing who it was, but for some reason I just felt like that wasn't a good idea. For some reason I felt like I was maybe in danger. I kept walking, changing hallways every so often. I tried going in a random room at one point, but it was locked. Then, I came up on an elevator. I decided to take it and push the button. Thankfully, it opened immediately. If I would have had to wait, I probably would have just moved on. I got inside and started pushing the button for the first floor over and over. Meanwhile, I heard the footsteps coming from down the hallway. 
They were moving faster and faster, and then they started running. Whoever this was was now sprinting towards me. Finally, the elevator doors started to close. At about that same time, the person had entered the hallway that I was in. The doors just barely closed on time. When they were maybe an inch open, I heard whoever it was get right outside and then just barely saw them. I couldn't tell anything about them though, just that they were right outside. They grabbed at the door, but it was too late. I felt a huge wave of relief as the elevator started moving down. But at this same time, I heard the person sprinting away from the elevator. I was guessing that they were now going to the nearest staircase. When the elevator door opened, to my surprise, I could see the exit. I think it was the same door that I had gone in. I turned to the right and started walking. That's when I heard footsteps coming from a ways to the left. Whoever it was that was chasing me was almost down the stairs. That's when I started to run. I sprinted towards the exit and heard the other person sprinting in my direction now. Just when I was about to get to the door, I saw something go flying past my head and I heard a loud smash. Whoever this person was had thrown a small lamp at me. It just missed my head and hit the wall just a couple of feet away. I opened up the door and sprinted outside. My friend Jake was still on the phone but a ways down, probably like 50 feet. He saw me running and looked confused. But as I was approaching him still, I saw the look on his face as he saw somebody come barreling out of the building behind me. Then he started running with me. We were both pretty fast and now that we were outside had many more options on where to run. We quickly made a right and ran a ways, then made it to another street. When we did, we finally stopped and realized that the person wasn't chasing us anymore. Jake asked me what that was all about and I told him that I didn't know. We were able to meet up with our other friends after that but I felt really lucky to have made it out of that situation okay. I really don't know who that person was. The crazy thing is that I never even saw them. Jake told me that it was a man, and he said that he didn't get a real good look at him, but he said the guy looked insane. I will take his word for it. The fact that the guy threw a lamp at me is really bad. It could have injured me, and I'm glad that the guy didn't catch up with me either. Who knows what he would have done. I also feel like the guy was not supposed to be in the building, I didn't see him for the rest of the time that I was there that weekend. Since then, I've been back at that college a couple of times, but I will never forget that experience.